Let's change the transmitter settings. Let's say we want to do a DRM transmission in mode B using a fairly high protection and about 20 kilobit per second in data rate. So we open up the DRM settings tab and adjust the rust mode to mode B and set the LPP and HPP MSC protection to high. LPP and HPP means that's the lower protected part and the higher protected part. OK. Now we did the configuration and we see if we change the code rate, which means if we change the protection level, the MSC data rate increases or decreases along with the protection. The same thing applies to the robustness mode. If we change the robustness mode, we see the data rate increasing or decreasing. In mode B, with protection level 1, we see that we get on average about 21 kilobit per second. So now we want to add a stream. Let's say we want to transmit AAC+. OK, we close the DRM settings and go to the multiplexer tab. Now we have various choices. We want to use FAC or AAC+, or a Dolby stream for DRM+, or some of the data streams, which is slideshow, website, or peer BS. We want to do. Uh, we want to use AAC plus for now. Okay, we hit the button, and a dialog pops up, which asks us how many bits we want to spend on the stream, and of course, we want to spend the full bit rate to get adequate audio quality. And we see the configuration panel of the input stream where you can set things like the sample rate and so on and so forth. I don't want to dig into deep into the details of uh, the configuration, but I just want to do a nice and decent configuration for this stream by adding a text message like hello world this is DRAM slash DRAM plus. Okay, accept that. And now we see in the multiplexer panel we've got that AAC stream and it occupies all of our MSC bytes, which means the green bar fills um, the grey bar in the background with all bytes available. So, okay, now we've configured pretty much everything. We, we could actually configure the service to have another name. Let's say it has the name our service name. I, I'm not sure if it fits. Let's see. Yes it does. Okay that's our service name. That's our stream. And we can start the transmission by hitting the start button over here. Let's see what happens. There you go. This is our configuration. In our configuration we see we've got the UFDM output, we've got the time, UFDM and FAC status over here, and the button you sh should see me speak, which is this level indicator over here, and our text message. This is pretty much it for the first. Okay, thank you very much.